this morning, yet another leap for mankind. Blue Ghost, Firefly Aerospace's robotic spacecraft touching down on the moon, becoming only the second ever privately built vessel to stick the landing. They'll stick the landing. We're on the moon. Ignition. The daring descent comes after a roughly six-week and 240,000-mile journey. Along the way, Blue Ghost beaming back these stunning images of the crater-laden far side of the moon. Now safely on the moon's near side surface and equipped with NASA science gear, the next phase of its mission begins. Two weeks probing the interior of the moon to depths up to 700 miles, snapping X-ray images to study how space weather interacts with Earth's magnetic field analyzing samples of lunar soil and dust, and more. Signs of life, we have a return signal we're tracking. The momentous mission comes a year after Intuitive Machines became the first private company to land a spacecraft on the moon. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. And as NASA has partnered with more than a dozen U.S. companies to deliver equipment to the moon, all part of its Artemis program aimed at one day returning humans to the lunar surface. A quest years behind schedule with its first crewed flight test originally slated for 2024, now expected in 2026 at the earliest. Today's landing, a monumental step in the modern day space race. And another vessel is expected to, the land, to land on the moon on Thursday. NASA says that these experiments and tech demonstrations on uncrewed missions will help scientists to better understand the moon's south polar region where future crewed missions are expected to land. Willie? It's just so cool. And as you say, hopefully men and women will be on the moon again sometime very soon. Priscilla Thompson in Houston, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.